1934, a fascinating journey unfolded as the Cleopatra tale hit the big screen. This movie takes you back to ancient Egypt with moments that might make you laugh, gasp, or even shed a tear. So get ready for some funny, surprising, and sad facts. Keep your eyes on this ride. Have you ever thought about a scene from this classic that stuck with you or a special moment connected to it? Maybe there's a part of the film that you'll always remember. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. What's your favorite memory or personal experience with this movie? And remember, even when the movie ends, the story's live on. Keep the conversation going. Cecil B. Demel's 1934 film, Cleopatra, tries to capture the epic tale of Julius Caesar, Mark Antony, and the Egyptian queen in a concise 100-minute runtime. While the movie falls short of achieving the grandness and depth of historical storytelling, it has some notable aspects that make it worth considering. Regarding performances, Warren William delivers a convincing portrayal of Julius Caesar, embodying the physical presence and authoritative voice suitable for the ambitious Roman politician and general. Henry Wilcoxon, portraying Mark Antony, also stands out with a commendable performance, maintaining his presence even in moments of light banter with the titular character. Unfortunately, the film falters in portraying Cleopatra, with Claudette Colbert's performance lacking the regal gravity required for the role. Colbert, known for her expertise in light comedy, interprets the Egyptian queen as a coquettish young woman more interested in socializing and frivolities than the weight of political intrigue. Cecil B. Demel's production values are evident in the movie's opulent yet overdone sets, adorned with art deco embellishments and extravagant gold costumes that, while visually striking, seem excessive. The entrance of Cleopatra into Rome lacks the grandeur it deserves, and the special effects appear dated. Despite its shortcomings, Victor Milner's black and white photography stands out, earning the film an Academy Award. The supporting performances from C. Aubrey Smith and Ian Keith contribute to the overall ensemble, but Colbert's miscasting leaves the film oscillating between stately Roman politics and moments of misplaced levity. In summary, while the 1934 film may not be a flawless historical epic, it offers glimpses of commendable performances and visually appealing elements that make it a worthwhile watch for those interested in early cinematic interpretations of this well-known story. Cecil B. Demel, a key figure in early Hollywood, demonstrated a strong connection with a particular actress through several collaborations. The actress, featured in Demel's notable works like The Sign of the Cross and Four Frightened People, had a lasting impact on the director. Even though she turned down a role in Union Pacific, which later went to Barbara Stanwyck, her influence persisted. The actress collaborated with Demel in five films, with Cleopatra being a standout. The movie aimed to capture the grand story of Julius Caesar, Mark Antony, and the Egyptian queen within a concise 100-minute runtime. While the film didn't fully achieve the historical depth Dimmel aimed for, it had notable elements. In terms of performances, Warren William convincingly portrayed Julius Caesar with the gravitas suited for a Roman leader. Henry Wilcoxon's portrayal of Mark Antony also stood out, maintaining a strong presence even in lighter moments. However, the casting choice for Cleopatra, embodied by the actress known for light comedy, presented a challenge. The regal aura essential for the role was lacking, depicting Cleopatra more as a playful socialite than a political force. Demel's production values, seen in opulent sets and extravagant costumes, showcased a visual spectacle, although some aspects seemed excessive. The film's special effects appeared dated, and Cleopatra's entrance into Rome lacked the grandeur demanded by the narrative. Despite these shortcomings, Victor Milner's black and white photography earned the film an Academy Award. Supporting performances from C. Aubrey Smith and Ian Keith contributed to the overall ensemble. Yet, the film's oscillation between stately Roman politics and moments of misplaced levity reflected its struggle to strike a cohesive balance. In summary, the 1934 film Cleopatra may not be a flawless historical epic, but it offers glimpses of commendable performances and visually appealing elements. For those intrigued by early cinematic interpretations of this well-known story, the film provides a unique perspective on a classic narrative. During the making of the 1934 film, the California Eagle brought attention to the efforts behind the scenes. A group of carefully chosen black men played a crucial role as Cleopatra's litter bearers on short-term contracts, bringing their unique touch to the portrayal of ancient Egypt. 
Additionally, female extras from the Los Angeles Cotton Club showcased their talents in the seduction ballet on the barge, adding a distinct flavor to the movie. However, the film faced practical challenges, especially in its daily schedule. Issues with costumes, often triggered by Claudette Colbert's dissatisfaction, caused delays. Colbert, playing a Cleopatra with a different demeanor than the regal figure from history, sent costumes back for adjustments, influencing the production dynamic with her preferences. An interesting aspect of the actor's career emerges when exploring Oscar connections. The performer took part in two Best Picture winners, The Life of Emile Zola and Gentleman's Agreement, and featured in six other Best Picture nominees, showcasing a varied presence in Hollywood across different genres and themes. To sum up, the 1934 Cleopatra film brings together a mix of diverse talents, from the carefully selected black men to the dancers from the Los Angeles Cotton Club. Costume adjustments highlight the meticulousness of the production process. Moreover, the actor's association with Oscar-winning and nominated films underscores their versatility in Hollywood, showing a range of contributions to cinematic history. Production designer William Cameron Menzies played a crucial role in bringing Cecil B. Demel's vision for Cleopatra to life. Menzies contributed significantly to the creation of impactful montages within the film. Their successful collaboration extended across various acclaimed projects, including multiple Best Picture nominees and winners. The film strategically incorporates historical symbolism during Julius Caesar and Cleopatra's entrance into Rome. The use of fasces, a bundle of sticks with an axe head, symbolizes power and unity in ancient Rome. This emblem had contemporary significance in the 1930s, connected to Benito Mussolini's fascist party. The inclusion of fasces in the movie reflects a nuanced connection to the political context of that era, providing audiences with an additional layer of historical awareness. Cleopatra's influence goes beyond the actors and production crew involving diverse talents behind the scenes. The California Eagle highlighted the contribution of carefully selected black men as litter bearers, adding authenticity to the portrayal of ancient Egypt. Additionally, female extras from the Los Angeles Cotton Club brought their talents to the seduction ballet on the barge, infusing the film with a distinctive flavor. However, practical challenges emerged during production, with costume-related delays stemming from Claudette Colbert's specific preferences. Colbert, known for her skills in light comedy, played a Cleopatra characterized more as a playful socialite than a regal political force. The adjustments in costumes underscore the meticulousness of the production process, reflecting the dynamic interplay between actor preferences and the overall creative vision. An interesting aspect of one actor's career connects to Cleopatra. This performer participated in two Best Picture winners, The Life of Emile Zola and Gentleman's Agreement, and featured in six other Best Picture nominees, showcasing a presence in Hollywood across diverse genres and themes. This association with Oscar-winning and nominated films adds depth to the actor's contribution to cinematic history. In summary, the 1934 Cleopatra film weaves together collaborations both on and off-screen, showcasing the talents involved. The inclusion of historical symbols adds layers of complexity, and the challenges faced during production provide insights into the meticulous efforts behind the scenes. The movie, despite its imperfections, offers a unique perspective on a classic narrative for those interested in early cinematic interpretations.